Welcome to another episode of 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons Descent into the Furnace. Of Avernus. Avernus, yes. <laughs> no. uh, Descent into Avernus. Uh, and let's do some introductions. We'll start uh, with the most important person who's running the campaign, Kashka. You say that, but that's not true at all. <laughs> it is, because we couldn't play without a DM, so... <laughs> right, well, there you go. I'm DM. <clears throat> Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, we've been doing this for like 18 months now, and I still have no idea what to say when you go like, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Maybe one day. I'll figure it out. No promises. And then uh, I will be calling people by their... Uh, character names as we go around and they'll introduce themselves as appropriately uh but uh, directly below kashka is malvola uh hello i am nightcast i play malvola a dragonborn hexblade warlock um not sure what else to say beyond that <laughs> that's good enough and then next to uh malvola we have koira I am Koira or Shai on Discord and Twitter and everywhere else. And I'm playing a druid. And I'm extra derpy today. <laughs> <laughs> and next to Koira, we have Flynn. I'm Nobby for those on Discord. And I'm playing Flynn, a halfling, currently almost drowning, monk. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, then next to Flynn, we've got Thorn. Hi, I'm Chris Woods, or Tim. I write stuff. Um, I'm playing Thorn, a half-elf ranger. Indeed. I thought you were a full elf. <laughs> I, I am right. You are absolutely right. I am a full elf. Yes. <laughs> a moon elf, no less. Quite was the half-elf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a long day. Got half-elf envy. I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, how can you not be jealous? <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are quite li well liked among many races. All right, and uh, I'm Valen. I will be playing Palkus, the um, half orc wild magic sorcerer, um, who will probably be the actual cause of the TPK in the, in the group. Um, and uh, let's let's bring up the quest log and we'll do a recap of what happened last time uh, there's a lot of notes in here um so uh, i'll try and sum it up a little bit simpler than this because there's a ton of, of stuff that we might just find appropriate uh, or needed in the quest log but more or less we went to the bathhouse to investigate the um the the cultists that uh, we were sent to pretty much eliminate and um we I think we went at night. Yeah, we, we went at nighttime under cover of darkness, broke in, got ambushed, um, kicked the ambushers' butts quite well, in fact. Uh, we were all very pleased because Kashka rolled absolute crap. <laughs> I don't think she could roll above a three to save her life that, that during that battle. But um, we feel bad for that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> we're gonna want more of those in the future um then we ended up uh following uh through a secret path passageway down into the underground uh which led to several doors uh each of which se seemingly to be decorated in the style of the different cults that uh, we found we also found evidence of what seemed to be some kind of backstabbing going on physical and perhaps uh you know more literal but um, we proceeded further on, uh, were ambushed yet again by a lot, much more obvious target, um, a bunch of cultists just laying on the ground who we thought were dead. Turned out they were just faking it. Big fakers. <laughs> um, fault. Yeah, we, we had a little difficulty with them, but we did also end up uh, destroying this large uh, mask that was some kind of idol in one of the rooms moved on and we came across this uh, little scene here which they heard is coming because we've been making a racket uh it, <laughs> True story. The, there's a couple characters up here on the uh on there let's see if i can actually if i have the the um uh led a stepped platform leading to a stone altar with a shackled bag-headed man which is <laughs> this one in the back he's got a bag over his head with the, he's the guy with the net um, also a large chain mailed 
helmed man holding a spear to the prisoner, and a large chain-mailed woman with a mace and a blood-covered wooden skull shield. Both were waiting for us to arrive. And uh, the room seemed to be covered in about two feet of water, uh, had several support beams, and yeah, they've got the high ground. They sure do. I think it's over. <laughs> you should just quit now. <laughs> and I think we ended last night with Kashka saying we're going to roll initiative. So yeah, yeah. So let's so do that. For those who don't remember, click on your character icon, open up your character sheet, and click on the word initiative in the top middle of your character sheet. That should do some kind of initiative roll and add it to the turn order. Forget that. No, it's going to take a little bit for me again to find it. That is okay. This is a learning stream. <laughs> Think I did it. New and experienced players are welcome. And we're all still considered new when it comes to using Roll20, which is the software that we are currently uh, displaying this episode on. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> unless you yes, want to do is. the bagged man. Nope. He's not getting I don't think he's going to be doing much. <laughs> <laughs> he is shackled to the wall, so... I mean, yeah. Um, well, he might moan and groan some. He might, yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, so... So you... See, um, to give a little additional description as well, you see um, this person here... Um, she kind of like this is um this is the woman in chainmail, and she kind of like she starts as if she's gonna oh sorry actually no wrong person this person um <laughs> she starts as if she's gonna go down the steps towards you she gets this like grimace on her face and um and she kind of she looks like she's reaching for her mace and when she sees kind of uh Flynn and Thorn come around the corner um but. When she sees Malvola come around the corner as well, she kind of pauses for a minute, like just for a second actually, and then instead of reaching for her mace, her hand goes up and behind her back, and instead she pulls out um, a bow. So... <laughs> oh, of course. Thanks. <laughs> That's what happens when a week between I have a chance to think about what she's going to do. <laughs> um, uh, so that's that's kind of what um, what are you we? all see, the three of you see, as you're coming around the corner. Um, so Thorn, uh, what would you like to do? Well, I'd like to take out my bow and knock an arrow. And if that's my action, then so be it. Um, no, I don't think so. I think you, that would be your, your bonus to, to grab your bow. And you can take your action to attack if you want. Okay, then I'm going to fire... Uh, oh. Okay. Spell this again. Oh yeah. Um. Oh. So that Ow. that hits. Oh. <laughs> so like, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. That that's a good hit. Okay. Getting some lucky rolls so far. Yeah, you hit her squarely in the chest. It seems to find its way through her chainmail, and um, you see her kind of like um, she she just gives you this icy look, this stone cold stone cold bitch look, you know. And just yeah. while she's glaring at you, she kind of yanks the arrow and um, tosses it aside. Whoa! Um, but she's she's kind of. Um, well, she seems to be, you know, quite heavily wounded from that. Uh, Koira. Before Koira does anything, she asks Palka, since there's a lot of noise and bow shooting going on, I assume there's trouble, are we still going to continue the ice cubes? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay. no adventures on ice? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> right. How many tiles could I move? Five or six? Six. Six. Okay. Yeah. Is it considered difficult terrain to move through the water? 
Um, for you guys, I would say, well, for if you're full height, if you're a full height person, then I would say no. We're all full height people. For a halfling, he's a full height halfling. <laughs> <laughs> for medium sized creatures mm. Rats. okay if you're five feet or taller <laughs> you have to be five feet or taller to not consider it difficult terrain you have to be five feet or taller to ride this ride um and now i'm gonna be annoying what's five feet oh crap it's um, less than two meters yeah, it's like a, a meter and a half it's one and a half just over. i think okay then it's fine I'm just over it. <laughs> Basically, yeah, if, you're yeah, not, if, if you're not a medium-sized creature, which we only have one person in our group that is yeah. not. <laughs> it's about 160 centimeters, roughly. I'm going to move past the corner just to know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, so you see, um, you see, probably come around the corner just as this woman down here is like, she just yanks the arrow out of like, her upper chest area and tosses it aside and she seems to be pretty angry at Thorn. Um, oh, seems like I've made a mistake. <laughs> You're like, I'm back around the corner. <laughs> Pashka? Yes. Is there something this way? Yes, there is. Here. Sorry, I will do that. My mistake. Ooh, you do see a passageway going off this way and here you can see a door. Okay. Thank and you actually, much. over here, you can see um, beginning of stairs going down. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I was actually. Unless you want to bet they go down the water. The secret's revealed. <laughs> 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 the question is, are you just gonna go? All right. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cora, did you want to take any actions? Uh, no. Actually, do I have anything that's not melee? It's a good call. Depends on what spells you have. Yeah. I... Maybe I can. Well. No, you can do I that. Can <clears throat> yep. That would work. I just have to f remember how I do this. Um, that way, it makes it more difficult for them, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Yep. Um. So they have to make a, a strength saving throw. So would that include Bagman? Um, well, he's up. He's kind of shackled to the wall, so he's kind of up on the wall. <laughs> shackled to the wall and the ground. He, uh, he's all. And, he's already entangled. Yeah. 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 Uh, last time I could kind of position it a little bit too, so if I want, I can avoid him if I actually pull mm -hmm. it off properly. Did I not need to roll something? I don't think you do. Uh, they need to roll. They, okay. Is, so, like, uh, uh, do they do that now? Hang on, I forget. Um, cast the spell. Okay, then they do need to do that now. All right, so. Um, oh, my gosh, if I can remember which one is which. Um, so the woman at the bottom, she's going to... Um, she rolls a 19, so I think that's probably going to pass. And then the guy, the fella in the bucket helm, rolls an 11. So I think he's going to fail, probably. I guess I have to look at the spell save DC. Yeah, it should be on your spells it's tab. 12. It's 12. Okay, so, okay, great. so this guy, let's give him a little icon. He's entangled. That's a good entangled icon. Oh. There we go. The net. <laughs> There we go. He was entangled. Just in case people are curious what restrained means, there you go. So, since I have not messed with this at all, I know I've used two spells in oh. total. How do I set it so that I actually remember that I used those two spells? So, on your character sheet, on your spells section, are you on yeah. your spells section? Yeah. Uh, above your... Uh, like the the spell names you should have some numbers on the uh on the left left and right yep on yeah. the right side you have a little arrow up and arrow down you can okay thanks. decrease those by a couple okay it's now on one then there you go perfect thanks mm -hmm. okay flynn you going swimming flynn <laughs> 
I guess in a manner of speaking. I think that's about as far as I can move. And then let's throw my dagger at the chick. The one who's not entangled. This one? Okay. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. That's a good toss. <laughs> God damn it. You guys just <laughs> That's a really hurtful dagger. <laughs> right. Jeez. Yep, so she gets a dagger embedded in her thigh and it hurts and she kind of goes down on one knee for a second. Um, so... Found out the chain mail doesn't work so good against these piercing weapons. What the heck? <laughs> Gee, I've got three cultist daggers, so for bonus action. <laughs> I don't know if that one would hit that. Well, no. No, that's right. She's done. So no advantage. Nope, that one does not hit. Yeah, that was one of the crappy cultist daggers. <laughs> Remind me not to stand in front of anyone when they throw something. Including <laughs> <laughs> Palkus. Especially Palkus. <laughs> um, and that includes when he's throwing spells. So, this guy... And uh, that's it for me. That's, okay. all he, uh, that's all he throws. Um, that's good. <laughs> I know, I didn't do all that much. Yeah, you did. Great. <laughs> mm, okay, so he's going to take his turn to try and get out of this uh, entanglement. Um, so he rolls a 16 this time on his strength check. Um, so he's going to kind of rip the vines um, away from his legs, the you know these vines have kind of reached up from through the stone floor, through little tiny cracks and crevices in the stone floor and walls, and entangled him. And he just rips them. You see him frantically kind of ripping these vines from his legs, um, and he succeeds. And then he um, he kind of snarls at you, Flynn, as he like just um, barrels forwards towards you um, with his spear. The plan worked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he rolls a 17. You know, got to do the whole Bruce Lee thing. Come on. Uh, he rolled a what? Crap. Using his action to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm mm. sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, oh, you know what? So he can still make his um, bonus action for his spear attack, but he's not going to get his um, his bonus on the damage. Okay, so he does three points of uh, damage to you with his spear. Thrusts his spear forward towards you. Okay. Uh, Malvola. Get Thinking. him. Get him. Uh, um, <laughs> would... Nah, because Flynn's right there. I know. <laughs> well, because there's, there's something that I've can do that would be i'm barely above the water guys give me a break <laughs> that's true he is up on the stairs i'm not, that, yeah. I'm not blocking a bunch you just gotta that's true. you know next time when you I move might up be blocking the guy's toes duck your head down <laughs> uh would i be able to get both of the the guy with the spear and the woman in chainmail in a line attack if i was If I was in either of these squares, uh, let's see. Yep, I'd say if you yeah. were standing there. I'd say if you were the one in the one by the pillar. Or here, um, probably not that one. But you, you probably could from here. Yeah. And yeah, but I'm also concerned the... because I would hit that guy. It'd be pretty, pretty tight. Angle it down just a little more. <laughs> it depends. Is it, is it shooting like a gun, or is it more like a a, a fine stream flamethrower? Uh, it is more like a flamethrower. <laughs> it, so I might have like the fryer tuck soon. How how yeah. long uh, to, of a reach do you have with it? <laughs> Thirty feet. So I could actually go because well, then that's definitely putting Flynn right in the middle of it. <clears throat> I was also thinking possibly right here but again that's going to put him directly in it um yeah uh, hmm. i 
I'm going to I'm going to say give up on on getting both of them cuz it's just too risky. And uh breath weapon on the one on the Cool. Okay. That is a line attack 5 by 30 feet. Uh da, 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 da. Oh, it's Each a five foot area, wide? But... Yeah, that's the problem. Ooh. Ooh, that would be a bit tough. Get a breath mint. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I mean, if, you, if you're going to stand there, then you're going to catch Flynn. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go one more yeah. square forward. Okay. Yeah, then you could probably just do you this. You do see, and... when you get up there, you see in this corner, this little alcove here, there's a suit of armor. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> there was a suit of armor there. So here is the end of blurb. It is missing its helm. <clears throat> okay. Ha! And the guy's wearing a helmet, isn't he? Um, you can use your mm. action to exhale this. <laughs> Time to knock that helmet back onto the stand. <laughs> okay. So glad you maneuvered so, so that it didn't hit me. Yeah. I'm standing in water. You can take it. You're fine. <laughs> um, the DC works out to. Well, he's got a 12. Uh, that is an equal match to the DC. My DC okay. is 12 for that. So Then he does succeed at it. So that's 2d6 divided by 2. Hmm. Yeah, just roll the 2d6. And... There okay. you go. She'll do the damage. All right. He gets a bit scorched. Um, and... Was it fire? That was lightning. Lightning. Ah, ha, ha. Zappy, zappy. <laughs> it was a shocking surprise. <laughs> yeah, if it was if it was fire, it would be a whole lot worse. We wouldn't be having a whole conversation about not getting Flynn because everybody on the dais would get would be getting roasted because <laughs> that's a cone. <laughs> well, I mean, standing in water while there's lightning is also not. <laughs> yes, but it, the lightning isn't going into the water, it's coming out of it, so that's <laughs> less of a concern. Unless you're practically immersed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, so you hit this guy, he gets kind of zapped for a moment, and um, your breath weapon kind of continues and hits the suit of armor. Uh, uh oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to like suddenly just get up and start walking around. It's alive. <laughs> um, oh, it's 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 Frosty the Iron Man. When we put the helmet back on it, it animates. <laughs> I Is there anything? Sorry, Marvel. Anything else you wanted to do? Any bonus actions? That, that is gonna do it. Okay. Um, I'm just glad it didn't ricochet off the armor. I'm gonna that would have actually, actually been awesome because the following the angle, it would have gone straight at the woman in the that has been hit with a dagger <laughs> and an arrow, and it would be like, it's just not your day. <laughs> no, actually, it would kind of go in between the two of them. So, Palkus is going anyway. to move here, trying to take some cover behind the the pillar, if possible. Okay. And uh, then is going to do the thing where he lifts the flap up, up comes a torch, and uh, it goes towards the person that is currently uh, uh, whoops, currently up here, uh, the, the woman, because mm -hmm. she's by the prisoner, and Palka's seeing this. That's the most immediate threat at this point, because the other person is probably against their, they're against their will. Um, at least that's what it might appear to be. So let's see. Um, 
So I get beaned in the back of the head with a torch. Awesome. Yeah. Only if you jump like, up. <laughs> you, you've got two. You've got two columns and a dragonborn in between you and this person. All right. Uh, then that help. Okay. Now you've got just a dragonborn. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Mal, would Mal she... would have to make the save first. No, yeah. she's yeah. above, and I'm shooting a That's projectile. True. It's just like a, I'm shooting an arrow or something, but instead it's a torch. Um, and it hurts a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. So DC 13 dexterity save. Okie dokie. Um, which one is she? She is this one. Dexterity saves. Uh, she fails. Okay, 15 bludgeoning damage. The torch is destroyed in the process of hitting her. Oh my god. Uh, she takes the torch square to the head and um, <laughs> and kind of sways for a moment and then just collapses limply to the ground. <laughs> nice. Okay. Death by a thousand splinters. Mm hmm. Yep. I'll remove one torch from my inventory. <laughs> And that is it for these my torches. turn. I've got to find a solution for these. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so there's a Malvoli and Flynn. You hear a strange kind of um, rattling sound, metal rattling sound coming from the suit of armor. And um, you might notice that the uh, the gauntlets on the um, armor detach and seem to take on a life of their own and they are going to be represented by these tokens here <clears throat> um so these oh come on now <laughs> these tokens are going to be uh acting now so what do those tokens represent um these are the gauntlets of the armor okay okay so they are now in play as well so they can, yeah this kind of metal rattling sound and then these gauntlets like detach and start flying around the room um and they do kind of act as if they were a longsword um so they have the same damage as a longsword um so they oh, what is their speed okay yep, they move very quickly mm -hmm. and um do they just float they're, yeah, they're flying. Flying gauntlets just flew, came off of the armor stand. Great. Yes. And they kind of detach. So one is going to make friends with Malvola, and then one of them whips past this person who kind of like, when they see it whips past, you know, them, they kind of sneer at you, Flynn, and then laugh a little bit, you know. Um, so, uh, oh. so, so this one <laughs> um, is swinging at you Malvola and rolls an 18 to hit Ow. yeah that's gonna hit just a little bit <laughs> and there's uh, three slashing damage to you Ow. and then the other one uh, versus Flynn rolls a 14 to hit miss me <laughs> <laughs> AC um, 15 <laughs> play the game of splash the halfling um, so this person so that's the, the swords. Um, this person is unconscious, so we're going to remove them from turn order and thorn. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on this guy. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Very good. And then I'm going to touch shooting. Can you share with us what Pink Hunter's top. Mark does? Uh, sure, it makes people easy to track, but the primary benefit in combat is that it adds d6 to damage. Does this only like. affect you? Yes. Okay. I think so. I'll probably check. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently my notes are not a test. I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Oh, that just hits. Excellent. That's the bow. Okay. And 
Dann lass ich den Kuss mal ab. Okay. Right, another well-placed arrow and a oof from this, this guy here mm. as he gets Flynn, the guy uh, in front of you, gets skewered quite nicely. So. <laughs> do you want to do any Bad. movement? Or? Oh. Uh, no, I'm happy in front of... Okay. Okay, that's me. Cora. <clears throat> um, those gloves can they also be attacked? Yes, they can. Okay. I'm actually gonna go up to one of those and use my scimitar on it. Okay. And hopefully, I'm not gonna smash the little wooden pillar behind me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, so that uh, you don't smash the pillar, but you um, it's. The gauntlet is much faster moving than you expected, and you do not manage to hit it this time. By I the... missed a pillage, I'm trying to <laughs> By the way, um, uh, depending upon the area that was covered, this entire area might be, what is it, uh, difficult terrain due to the entanglement spell. Yeah. I, mean, I was picturing it. Oh, no, that's not the right thing. Hang on. Zoom in so I can... I was picturing it like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Flynn? Okay, I'm going to breach out of the water. Uh, basically jump straight up, <laughs> knee to this guy's head. Okay. Oh, that hits. Nice. Okay. He was not and expecting that. And then as I'm that. going <laughs> up over him, back kick with my other foot to the back of the head. Nice. That does. Okay, I didn't time that one well. <laughs> Okay. Should put me behind him. Okay. <clears throat> the vines threw me off. That must be what it was. <laughs> and that ends my turn. All right. It um... also gets me out of the line of fire, theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, a chance. Into it more, I don't know. Not a chance. Definitely into it more. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hide in the, the entanglements? <laughs> <laughs> I'm small enough, I might be able to. <laughs> right, uh, he turns around and is going to continue to attack you with his spear. Um, so he rolls on his first attack a. Oh, yeah. He 20. turns his back to me? Maybe. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, he rolls a 23 to hit with his first attack and does 8 points of that damage. That misses, I wish. <laughs> and then he's going to take his bonus action to try and stab you again. And uh, how much damage for the oh, first one? Eight. Ouch. Is that good? Oh dear. I may need some healing after this. Uh, <laughs> if there isn't after this. <laughs> um, then he misses on his second. He rolled a fourteen. So. All right. Thank God. Um, all right, Mathala. <laughs> I'm going to cast Arms of Hadar. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do what? He, he's going to hurt multiple enemies around him. <laughs> and you are out of range now. <laughs> okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so long, I've got like six hit points left. It is still... <sighs> I don't know why that's saying a DC 10. My spell DC is 14. I just haven't fixed it yet. Okay. It's okay. So it's a 10 foot radius from you? Yes. Oh. I mean, that's still. I'm not out of range. Neither is Quora. Oh, it is. Oh. <laughs> I, I, thought it was five foot. I thought it was five <laughs> foot too. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I thought it would was going to be the square that I'm in and 
the eight around it, and I I mathed wrong. That is a lot more terrible than I expected it to be. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, was already, was other possible characters. Uh, you know, warlocks. I mean, do you want do you want to do you want to bloop, bloop and do that again? <laughs> um, bloop bloop. <laughs> Just yeah, thinking I that, kinda that seven, think I... seven damage to Flynn, probably. <laughs> you're like, arms of Hadar! And oh, your patron is like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like, all oh, right. Well, that all, that all depends on the alignment of his patron. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's his not patron good. Be, yeah, yeah, I mean, would. by very nature. <laughs> um, so, I do whatever to cast Arms of Hadar, but what comes out is Wrathful Smite. Mm, that sounds fun. Okay. And I'm going to uh, uh, batter up on this friggin' gauntlet. Okay. Awesome. I uh, oh. fail miserably. Those things are tough to hit. We've been rolling bad to hit them. Yeah, I mean, Wrathful oh. Smite is going to still hang out, though, because it's next time yeah. you hit. So. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Kashka stole our good dice. <laughs> nice. Tables have turned. <laughs> Natural one. Ouch. All right. Um, sorry. Anything else you want to do, Malvo? Uh, that's gonna be it. Okay. Uh, Palkus. Um. <laughs> Gnu. Um. Thank you, Gnu. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Woohoo! That is awesome. Uh, but let's let's see what can I do. Uh, um, um, wait, how many of those did I have? Oh heck! Oh heck! People seem to be having problems with these things. Uh, he's going to move over one space. Hold, how far is it up here? That's not bad. Um, <clears throat> and how is this person, the, the dude with the helmet, looking? Um, let's, can you move your thing? Sorry. Um, he is medium, medium well. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's see if we can charbroil him then. Uh, he'll he'll uh, pull out another torch this time. In the the flap on the bag is already open. He, he pulls one out and he, and he he holds it up and it just kind of takes off from his hand. <laughs> okay, um, I can't remember if it needs. Is it? It's verbal. This crazy thing. So he makes a deck save. Uh, yeah, hold on. I will. I'll roll for it here. Where is it? Catapult. There we go. Deck save DC okay. 13. Um, he fails? A spell or a cantrip. Um, this is a spell. So oh, that's right. So I, I, owe, I, owe, I owe two D20s here. Yes, so please. let's do... Oh, one second. Yeehaw! For the first one. Okay. And the second one. Oh, still okay. It's edging closer. <laughs> so I'm more worried about whether or not the guy on the stairs made his save. Yeah. Yeah, he takes. He failed. Fourteen. Thank God. Fourteen bludgeoning. <laughs> if he had passed his saving throw, I would be making a saving throw. No, it's just the same as an yeah, arrow. No, read the spell. What? For uh, it, it, first it, creature in the line. Makes their saving throw, it goes on to the next until it's stopped by either another creature or a wall or something like that. Stopping early if it impacts against the conservative field would strike a creature. That creature is. It stops moving when the object strikes. The object. I guess it does just fly in a straight line, but wouldn't it be the same for an arrow, though? It doesn't it's say. It's similar, but it keeps going until it hits something. Because it doesn't. An arrow is a very thin thing. So your chances of collateral further on that. And you got to figure too, kind of it's not just the object itself; it's the force of the object being propelled. Mm -hmm. It's got its own like bubble of force because of how much damage it does. Right. I mean, it, that's why it takes as much damage as it causes. Yeah. 
<clears throat> but based on the way the spell reads, it's in a line until it strikes something. Well, I guess we find out how the DM's going to rule that one, so... Well, it doesn't... Well, he no failed idea. his saving throw, so I don't care at this point. <laughs> yep, we will resolve that shortly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so he is still standing. Um, Dang. He took... Yeah. Ow. He's beefy. He is beefy. All right. <clears throat> so that that's all I got though. Okay. Beef is done. All right. Um <laughs> then it's our friends, um the flying uh -oh. goblins. Um so this one is going to swing again at Alvaro. Uh -uh. And 13 to hit. Uh that is a dead match. That is a hit. Okay. Uh, does eight? Going to, oh, so getting a little handsy. Does another eight, uh, eight damage to you? Uh, Ouch! Which is not good. No, it's not. not. not good. I wasn't um, anticipating the extra reinforcements. Koira, this one having lost its previous target in the water, um, unfortunately, um, is going to come flying towards you. No, um, no. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <guess. laughs> <laughs> um. So it. Uh, it rolls a 14 to hit you. That hits. Okay. And then it does another eight slashing damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Might actually be bludgeoning damage because it's a gold, not a sword. Mm. So does everybody have backup characters ready to go? Yep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, it's looking like we're all gonna die. <laughs> sure, Thorn. we've got, we've got uh, Thran, Flan, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Koiro, uh, Mel, Valo, <laughs> and and Pelkos. <laughs> twin twin family members. <laughs> Clones. All right, Thorn. Uh, okay. Um. I'm going to shoot at the guy I've marked. Okay. Um, Hunter's mark doesn't give you advantage. No. Just gives you the extra damage. Okay, that misses. Um, that's it. That's me. Okay. Uh. Level two. Level two. <laughs> All right, Koira. Since it might be the smartest for me to retreat a little bit, I'm going to see what's up here or okay. down here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um... And I feel like it's a mistake. <laughs> Five more <laughs> flying goblins. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Spares. <clears throat> So you can see uh, the bottom of the stairs there, and then you actually see some other stairs kind of um, <coughs> going up Excuse around me. the corner. Can I also unentangle that zone so the um, yeah. Flynn has an easier time? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to do that. Good luck. I will remove it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Flynn. Alright, Flynn, what you got? <laughs> Time to pull out all the stops at this point. <laughs> You've okay, been hit a lot. I'm going to start with a punch to the head, since I'm now kind of that level now. Okay. Physically. <laughs> or not. It's that, it's, it's, it's the wrong helmet. It's the helmet from the, the suit of armor, so okay. that's the problem. My last key point. For Flurry of Blows. Oh, Okay. That's oh, that a bit is. better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's one. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Two wrongs, man. That's freaking helmet, man. That's pretty uh, harsh. Um, so he takes the kick, um, or the blow, but is is still standing, but but kind of swaying a little, like he's like he's blinking a lot, trying to stay focused like he's trying to focus on you flynn while you're and it's, he seems to be having a 
pretty rough time and he's now you know kind of bleeding as well he's got splinters like sticking out of his face he's, he's just okay, a mess because i can't point. resist the urge he'll hear a voice in his head did that hurt <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like yeah, yeah he just seems mental torture he just seems um yeah confused yeah um he's gonna try his very oh, yeah, best that's it for me okay <laughs> um he's gonna try his very best to stab you with his spear and he rolls a nine which is very appropriate because he's kind of uh -huh. you know, swooning and swaying and stuff um he is gonna he seemed kind of feebly trying with his bonus action, and he rolls a 12 to hit you. So he misses with both attacks. Wow, I made him swoon. Swooning. All right, uh, Marvel. Got him swooning over me. <laughs> um, yeah, I am still trying to deal with this gauntlet, because I... Wait a minute. No, you're still too close. <laughs> <laughs> no? Whoop. Actually, hold on. For my movement? No, never mind. I can't do that because I wouldn't have been able to do that because it would have from attack of opportunity. Never mind. Yep, which is actually what my follow will. Unless you use your yeah. action to disengage. Yeah, and that's... There's always Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Wise words. <laughs> it's a good it's a good cantrip. You can't bash it, man. It's the best. Yeah, the, the issue is that it still requires an attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's, true. That's true. Um Oh, and you've got an ongoing yeah. effect with your flails. Oh, but the yeah. attack roll of the Eldritch Blast uses your spell attack to hit instead of a strength one it, it's the same okay never hex mind. blade never mind yeah i'm a derp so yeah i am <laughs> swinging on the uh on the gauntlet again okay <sighs> oh, dang. i'm sorry <laughs> means you still have your raffles mind <laughs> <Never mind>. yeah <laughs> They kind of sound like, is it sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, do you want to take any bonus actions? Um, I don't even know. Like, I'm not familiar with the bonus action mechanic, so I'm not sure like what options there are. Basically, unless something in your character sheet specifically calls out a bonus action, there aren't any. Can't be a bonus <laughs> action, though. Some cantrips can be, but it says in the cantrip that it's a bonus action. Yeah, yeah. and it'll say like in the casting time, mm -hmm. like Wrathful yeah. Smite. Yeah. Like bonus action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I. I don't. Well. Yeah, I don't have anything, unfortunately. Okay, no worries. Um. Yeah, at this level, I don't think many people do. You know. Yeah. They rack up soon. Yeah. Unless they're a monk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Palkus. Um. So, how are my friends looking, Kashka? <laughs> Obviously, I, I'm pretty sure that the halfling is looking pretty darn done with this battle. How, how's the the? Uh, dragon looking <laughs> um, so and you saw koira kind of rush past you as well mm -hmm. looking about as injured as as the the halfling and they both look kind of uh okay. medium yep. medium <clears throat> medium well and okay. actually I'm uh, Malvola, medium well. actually Malvola looks medium well as well I think. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't say I'm medium well. <laughs> no, you're not medium well. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, you're probably more, a little... They're a little closer to being well done. I think Koira is the most well done, actually, of the bunch. <laughs> so, Palkus isn't exactly fond of this idea, but he's going to charge ahead uh, straight at the uh, the dude with the helmet. Okay. Um, and he'll yell boom as he does it. Boom. Okay. 
and he will try to hit with his maul. Oh! No! oh. <laughs> okay, lots of things happen now. Oh boy! <laughs> because he's a half orc, he gains a bonus d6 on his damage due to his uh, <laughs> savage attacks. Uh, and uh, let's do that maul. I know he's probably already down, but I still got to. I'm going to do it anyway. He gets this on top of that, <laughs> and he gets this the the uh, booming blade spell cast on him if he's still standing. Um. Yeah. I mean, that guy is now jam. Okay. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> on the stairs, there's just like, <coughs> excuse me, kind of a. Where were you hiding that? <laughs> he wasn't right? hiding anything. He doesn't like hitting things with his magic staff, you know, unless he needs to. And apparently he needed to, so. <laughs> yep, that guy, so that guy goes down. Just you couldn't have done that earlier? Takes the mole square in the back and just, I mean, Flynn, oh. he almost flies into you, but I was, just collapses on the ground. I was busy torching our enemies, okay? Very, very dead. <laughs> um, so, that that's all I got. Okay. Alright, it's bad this news is, bears. Mm. Well, actually, now this one has a new target. Yeah. Uh, let's do that one first. <laughs> Just keep on adding in. Here, here's another target for you. Here, here's another target for you. All right. Uh, oh, see. I could have aimed at that, and then oh, that would have worked instead. Crap. So this one rolls a four to hit you, Palkus. Oh, thank God. Oh, sorry, seven. Uh, okay, I'm still fine with that too. Because my armor class is 10. Yep, so that one <laughs> fails completely. And then let's do this one. Ooh, except don't double click on it. This one. Um, rolls an 11. He misses. <laughs> Wait, if that's the one that's after me. It's the one that's after you. Okay. They're Excellent. After Thank you. Awesome. Finally. After after Thank you. you for drawing its attention and having it roll slightly above my armor class. Go <laughs> on. Okay. For my bonus, I'm going to move my hunter's mark to the lower gauntlet. Okay. Nice. And then I'm going to try to shoot it. Oh, pew, pew. That one is still there. My bad. Okay. Let me check. Um, okay, they're good. Um, that does not hit. Ooh. Oh, oh crap! Oh crap! We are so boned. Oh crap! <laughs> uh, Just kite them round and round uh, until somebody else. <laughs> you also yeah, said they move awesome. really fast. That's not going to help. <laughs> This corner ramen is suddenly even more interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Um, then, yeah, Koya, your turn. Uh, before I do anything else, I have two questions. Okay. The one, what was inspiration again? Um, so, ins oh, crap. Inspiration gives you an extra D... 10, I think. Yeah. 20. <laughs> Keep it up. Let's go. Um, on, uh, hang on. Let me look. on any of your, any of your roles. I think you can add it okay, to pretty perfect. much. That that's really perfect. And other than my healing spell, Is what healing? are ways to actually gain health again? Resting. Yeah. Okay. Then Sword I'm... also has one spell and knows a healing spell. I'm gonna be smart, I'm gonna use a healing spell on me as I'm not willing to die yet. <laughs> okay. Glad to hear I... you haven't given up yet. <laughs> and, and, and I'm gonna also use an inspiration, of course. Cast a one level. So does inspiration and... work like to hit or yeah. anything, or is it like increased damage or health regen or um it works to i know it works to hit it works that you can use it to increase damage um hmm. hang on i'm just looking to see if we can add it to uh mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> thank 
to know. <laughs> yes, I don't want to quote the inspiration, is, if I recall correct, that's not a possibility. It yeah. goes away after a while. So, um, yeah, it's attack rolls, damage rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. So, it, unfortunately, it's not going to increase how much you heal. Okay. So I can't use it here then. Right. Okay. Six okay. tiles, right? Yes. Thank you, Gnome. Woke up today, and I'm going to make another probably poor attempt at whacking the. No, I already did something. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the other thing to remember. Um is that you can wild shape yes okay. um, not right so, now but <laughs> yeah and that gains you temporary health yeah <laughs> that's another way you can kind of is it also not a spell that I use then or how does no, that it's work an ability. It, yeah, yeah so it's it an ability but okay. it does take an action to do so it takes an action use but it doesn't use a spell slot or anything okay as that's the one thing uh, I just forget about is it's not on my class sheet at all oh. because roll 20. <laughs> yeah. um, maybe I can add it in there um, manually or something. Um, okay, Flynn. Hmm, I wonder what I'll do. Have a seat. I'm gonna go for the one <laughs> by Balboa. <laughs> I guess move there. Uh, no, unfortunately, it does not. And it. bonus action. You need a nat 20 again. or higher. <laughs> that hits. Finally. Oh. Okay. Tell me it only has one hit point. Goodness, I found a way how to add a little note to myself so that I can remember. Oh, I'll cool. just add it yeah, to it has allies and organizations. Oh. <laughs> um, so you do, um, you do appear to damage it kind of ding it a little bit um uh but uh but yeah it's it's got a few more hit points left so, um only about 50 just a few just a few <laughs> malvola let me guess am i in your way again <laughs> no no but i i'm i'm going to cool it off again <laughs> I don't know what is going on today with D with roll twenty. This is this is just a disaster. It felt bad for Kashka last time. <laughs> what you need is is we need to work out some way of giving advantage. That's what we need to do because we've got a, a bunch of people. We all rely upon trying to get a good to hit, and we need to work out spells or effects or something to get advantage on our. Enemies. I thought having an opponent on three sides of you would automatically trigger that. But... <laughs> It's a gauntlet. What do you want? <laughs> Doesn't even have eyes. <laughs> Flanking is optional as well. I'm not, sure <laughs> not for this guy. I mean, it is. It's a gauntlet flying through the air. I think it's kind of <laughs> difficult to flank something that's the size of a fist, basically. It's all like gauntlet punch. <laughs> all right, Parkas. Um. Do you stop? Uh, Palkus usually charge and attacks. He doesn't, he's a bit confused, but he's going to try swinging his big maul at this gauntlet that's uh, north of him. It's unlikely to hit because that thing is so small. Um, but he will say boom while he does it. <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> and, uh, so let's do this. Luckily, no. saying boom's only a cantrip, so no search. You are correct. Yeah. Yep. All right. And that does miss. That does miss. And for that, Palkus will actually remain standing still. Or remain there. He's not going anywhere. Okay. All I'm right. Um, the gauntlet is going to retort and rolls a 22 to hit you, Palkus. You miss. <laughs> and it does five damage. <laughs> five damage. Five. Okay. Um, now this one over here is all confused about who it should attack, so I'm gonna make it kind of random. 
Um, so <laughs> we're gonna go Koira is one, Flynn is two, Malvala is three. Um, sorry, Koira. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it only <laughs> rolled a six to attack. So. Oh, good. It so it missed. Listen. And it's confusion. And now, I feel really dumb because I do have something that I could have done that would have made this a lot easier on me, but it's kind of late now. <laughs> That's all right. It's, we're all learning. We're new adventurers. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not well, <laughs> Right. <laughs> Don't want to go on the cart. It's my first day. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I feel fine. I'm gonna stick with the one I've got Hunter's mark on. I'm okay. Gonna shoot again. All right. <laughs> the one that three people are trying to hit. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's right in the middle of all the most badly wounded people. <laughs> we need to when we go back to town. We need to buy oh. like a bug net. <laughs> that will hit. Bug okay. net. <laughs> plus there's oh lovely. Plus there's the D6 nice. for Hunter's mark. That finishes it. Dude. Boop. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Which is on, really good. Kind of I'll shift the hunter's mark to the other one. Okay. I'm trying to think, like, how. I mean, anyway. I'm just trying to picture, like, a, a gauntlet being taken Straight down by down an arrow. Yeah, Straight yeah. Down the yeah. <laughs> so it kind of does this, and because it was aiming towards you, Corey, where you see, like, this the arrowhead just pierce out of the other side of the gauntlet and you're kind of worried for a second because it's like right there trying to hit you and uh and, and <laughs> then the gauntlet the wall above just, head. Just, uh, yeah. it's like pinned to the wall and it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. still flexing like the fingers are still moving uh, yeah I'm still twitching a little bit those gauntlets <laughs> feel so <laughs> <laughs> all right uh Koira, your turn since I can't do much with the other gauntlet, I'm actually gonna go here and just look upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> Might as well get some info from my friends. You find six more gauntlets. Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> You find oh, and some matching boots. No, okay. That's one, two, three tiles I moved. I'm just gonna move. <laughs> Uh, Flynn? Flynn, the space around you is finally clear of foes. <laughs> <laughs> You're surrounded by dead bodies. <laughs> well, just two, but you know. <laughs> a Trying to figure out how to do this. You hear Paul just really say, quick. help me. And, and he doesn't look like he's worried. He's just saying, help me. I have another really stupid question with the spells. How do I recharge those? Also, if you are resting? Yeah, yeah long yes. rest. Okay. Okay, time to get wet again. <laughs> I'm actually gonna. It's hard to. I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. Come across to there, mm -hmm. then kind of jump using Palkus as sort of a springboard to jump and hit the other gauntlet. Okay. And land over there. Okay. Ideally. All right. <laughs> grapple it. <laughs> oh, you yeah. grapple it is just like putting it on your hand. That hits. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thanks. And if it hasn't stopped moving, we're going to hit it again. It has not That's stopped. That's my bonus action. Okay, we're going to try to hit it again. Mm -hmm. I'm too deep in the water. Yep. That's it for me. Okay. Yeah. Because maybe <laughs> you weren't expecting the help to come in the form of a halfling like <laughs> <laughs> vaulting off your <laughs> shoulder. Uh, Malval. I'm going to step over here and I'm going to swing again. Swing away. <laughs> what the heck? Is this thing broken? <laughs> uh, you are happy to be you're so, you're stuck with crazy eights, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, are those your dice I've been using? Oh wait, you've been rolling <laughs> one ones and eights, right? So is that like aces and eights? You got like the dead man's hand? Is that what's going on here? Oh. I'm 
very close to being one. So I think right. <laughs> I know. I love how this this is like surrounded by people who are mostly dead. Actually, <laughs> like interesting choices. Them. All right, Pavkas. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Either he hits it and it and kills it. I mean, some way, you're assuming that you kill it. Yeah, uh, cast spell and surge because <sighs> he could sacrifice sorcerer points to do it. Um, jeez. He's going to try swing it away. Do it. And he'll say boom. And he will swing. <laughs> oh. I right. don't know why. Okay. I'm getting all maybe, the bad 20s and you're getting you eights. I, I mean, swear maybe, to God. Maybe you will. <laughs> I swear. You got cut out most of your sentence. So I was just giving Valen shit, basically. <laughs> There you go. Like, plus, plus it's got bloom, blooming blade <laughs> cast on it if it's not dead already. Yeah, it's dead. Okay. It's, it's so dead. It's upon, oh, smash. upon hitting yeah. it, Palkus... It's kind of stuck to the other side of your mall, actually, because you crumple, like, the, the mall just crumples into it, and it's kind of, like, stuck on the other end of your mall now. So, uh, they got a gauntlet ball? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mole-shaped gauntlet ball. <laughs> um... So with that, Palkus will, would actually look to Flynn um, and say, I meant just distract it, not hit it, but that works <laughs> the same. <laughs> and ultimately what he was trying to allude to in, an, in a metagaming type manner is if you give someone the help action, you grant them uh, advantage. Uh, yeah, so, I forgot all about that. So therefore, in a, a situation like that, where it's like you just need one good hit on something, so and you've got a few people before it, sometimes it's worth trying to grant a help action to try and assist, so that they can finish it off. Mm -hmm. But it seemed to work just fine without, so <laughs> I can't complain. We made it work. Okay. I take it we're out of turn order now? Uh, yes. Whew. Thank goodness. <laughs> Just in case, I'd like to... Flynn's going to sit down right mouth. there, staring at that rest <laughs> of the arm and make sure it doesn't move. Okay. So what were you saying, Thorne? I want to stick the hunter's mark on the prisoner, just in case. Oh. That's it's good for now, as long as I concentrate, so um, let's be cautious. While um, Flynn is checking out the Hogmer, I actually take the bag off his head so that, we, so that we can actually see his face okay um so flynn you're checking out what are you checking out i'm sitting down okay mm, no. and i'm just staring at the armor to make sure it doesn't move basically okay. my whole point is i'm hurt i'm not going anywhere else i want out of the water and while i'm doing it i'll watch the armor make sure that none of the other pieces come out <laughs> all right the, the the gauntlet that i smashed would yeah. you say it's between one and five pounds? <laughs> sure. Then Palkus would gather both of them and put them in his torch bag. Palkus, if I have new magic, Rocket. I can actually repair it for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this guy, um, so Koira, you kind of reach up and pull this burlap sack off his head, and he's like, ah, ah! And he's like, I mean, he's obviously kind of shackled to the wall, and but he's really like, he looks at you very fearfully, uh, and like, don't hurt me, you know. Don't worry, I won't. Um, this is what you want. I want to know what happened to you. Why are you shackled on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> um. He kind of like looks down at um, this this dead body. They took me prisoner. They kidnapped me. Please let me down. And Koira looks at the shackles to see what kind of lock they used. Yeah, there is a um, it has a key, a uh, little kind of padlock with a key. Okay. Yeah. 
I assume that this one would have set key then, so I check the body. Okay. For um. the key and maybe anything valuable. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So wait, which one are you checking for the key? The one that he said shackled him up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Over my shoulder. That dagger is mine. I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that that person has a shield. Um. Hang on, let me describe what they've got. Um, they've got a longbow, a mace, and um, a shield. And they're wearing chainmail. Um, but they don't seem to have um, anything else on them, actually. Okay. Well, any of the items fell you? Um, I mean, you think probably you could sell the longbow and the mace for a little bit of change? Like... No. I'll take them. How how do I do that? Like, do I need to do something on my sheet or so? Um, I would just like you could note them um in your uh equipment. Um, unless you think you might use them, in which yeah, case... I, I might actually use that ball. Okay. Then I have some kind of range shot. Okay. Um, then you could uh on your character sheet. If you go into the, got your character sheet open, go into the little eye of uh, the compendium and search for like a, I think a longbow will come up. And then you should be able to drag and drop it. Um, where do I find it? Oh, uh, it's a martial At the weapon. top right of chat, the roll 20 chat. You'll see a uh, little eye with a, a circle around it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you type in the search bar longbow. longbow. This bow does look... Um, hang on a second. Let me check this. The bow looks like it's going to be a little tricky for you to use as, like, um, just, like, out of game, right? Druids aren't particularly, mm. like, good with yeah. weapons. So, um, so the bow... Any attempt is better than no attempt. <laughs> <laughs> then they usually use cantrips and the like for range. Um, so, uh, so, yeah. so I assume it's the in items the long bow, right? Uh, yeah, if you. Yep. It'll be the first one, not the long bow plus one or plus two or anything, but <laughs> items. Yeah, but you long have uh, proficiencies and items. Yep. It's the item. Under items, and you left click and drag that onto your character sheet. Sorry, Kashka. No, no, that's exactly right. And then you can do the same thing with the mace. Um, so the the dragging is not working for me. Let me try it on mine just to see. Here, hang on. Let me give it a try. Oh, do you mind if me. I try that on your character sheet? Um, sure. Right? Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> Can it be that it's causing issues because I have my character sheet as a pop? As I can track this entire window, I think. Yeah, if your character sheet has popped out, I think that's probably going to be Yep, the that yeah. is the problem. Yeah. Ah, yep. Okay. There yep. we go. I've added okay. them both for you. The, what uh, are those two numbers, if I may ask? The two and the four? Next uh, the week. four is the oh, weight. That's the weight. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. And I accidentally added an empty item to my list. How do I remove that? Uh, the little lock icon at the bottom. Ah, Click that. Don't. And then trash it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Junk it. Cool. Uh, while I did that, I also shout off to um, Torn or Malvola or whoever is close to that body to check for a key so that we could potentially unshackle the guy. Since I'm right by the guy, or unless Thorn wants to do it. Sure. I'll check him over real quick. Thorn is a key. <laughs> <laughs> I Actually, will search Yeah, but if we can find the actual key. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, whoever's searching that guy, you do find um, uh, his spear. Um, he's wearing rather damaged chainmail at this point, and 
A set of keys. <laughs> Toss the keys in shot in Koira's direction. And what kind of shape is that spear in? I mean, the spear's in good shape. <laughs> Perfectly unused. Oh. <laughs> it's slightly okay. bloody, okay. but, you know. No, it's got a little <laughs> halfling blood on it. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> now the question is, am I good to catch it? take the spear unless somebody else wants it. <laughs> yeah, Koira. Anybody want a spear? Hmm. Um, he's I mean, Flynn's right next to you. Just kind of tosses the keys up, and you can catch him. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, Kashka, I'd yes. like to try to retrieve my arrows, both of them that I can. Oh yeah. Do you remember how many you shot? Four. Oh, okay. No five. <laughs> Twenty. Doesn't that <laughs> fling you into a chasm? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but okay. you oh, have okay. a wild sorcerer. Um, so you're able to retrieve four of them. The fifth one is a little... Uh, I mean, you can retrieve it, but it's a little uh, broken. Okay. Uh, 19 is fine for now. Uh, I also want to cast uh, Cure Wounds on um, Finn. Okay. Because he's in pretty bad shape. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sorry, still. <laughs> yeah, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Um, while that's happening, uh, unshackle one of his chains so that he has one arm free already. Okay. Just to play it safe if he wants to do anything stupid that he's still half shackled. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, his, so when you unshackle his arm, it kind of falls limply by its side and he like lets out this sigh. And you can see actually on his body, he's bleeding in quite a few places. Um, he's got some what look like spear wounds to him. Um, so he's, uh, he's very wounded as well and looks exhausted. Um, yeah, I, I feel like he's that. not going to be uh, in that uh, just unshackle him. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would even go as far as curious ones, but I can't. <laughs> right. I need some rest first. Yeah. You know, party before random NPCs. Okay, so he can unshackle. that too. <laughs> unshackled, he kind of sinks to the floor. Um, and just, um, he's kind of like, um, like massaging his shoulders. And, uh, yeah, just looks like he's uh, in, in pretty bad shape. Palkis looks a bit uncomfortable whenever he looks at him, but he starts looking over at the uh, suit of armor, and then the helmet is missing from it, right? Yeah. As well as the gauntlets. Mm -hmm. uh, does it look like the helmet on the guy that we downed might match the armor that's there? Um, Maybe. I don't know. He tried taking the helmet off the the dude. Okay. Anything like surprise? It's actually like some squid face dude or anything like that. Yeah. Nope. All right. And he tries putting the helmet back on the the suit of armor. He's a human. <laughs> it comes alive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I didn't expect anything, but you know, Palkus would just be like, "All right." That's when I would stab Palkus for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You crazy? <laughs> so, Koira is also asking this guy, like, why did they capture you? Like, what were they trying to do? Um, he says, who knows with these madmen? He says, maybe they, he kind of looks at you for a second and then says, maybe they were after my family's wealth, he says. If you return me to my estate, he says, I'm sure there'll be a reward in it for you. Palka speaks uh, up saying, who are you? Um, he says, my name is Klim Jasso. <clears throat> and says, I, was I was captured two days ago. I think they killed my bodyguard. Everything the way we came from, everything back through that tunnel to the north is dead. So it's a clean run. Well, that is true. 
<laughs> or he can wait here while we finish <laughs> checking this place out. It's up to him. He looks yeah. kind of skeptical. Yep. He, he looks like a... He says, uh, how do I know that I can trust you? You well, are happy. right here in the dark. Yeah, you're chained um, to a wall and you're still breathing. Indeed. And um, I mean, we can trust you. In danger and all of them are dead, so if we wanted you dead, we could have just easily done it. Or we could have just left you chained to the wall and walked away. This is... Um, he, well, he doesn't say anything, actually. He just kind of, like, looks like... Um, makes kind of eye contact with all of you very briefly and just kind of... Uh, starts um he's like tearing bits off like the the cloth that they had him and he's kind of dabbing at the wounds that he has and hmm. uh, we also i mean we all have these little shields of whatever the organization's called flaming fist yeah wow well, so there's the Oh, are you showing this guy a flaming yeah. fist? Yeah. Like the flaming fist sent us in here to kill things that look very decultish. So it's up to you whether that makes us trustworthy or not. Um, he says, well, uh, if you won't escort me out, he says then. But we have quite a lot of other people to kill still. Fel Felka <laughs> I'm speaks. Sure you understand. Felka speaks up and says, um, were there any others that you've seen? He says, yes. He says, there's plenty of them down here. He says, um, all manner of shapes and sizes. Have you seen any other prisoners? While they're talking to him, I'm going to reluctantly go back into the water <laughs> <laughs> and over to the that far door I moved to okay. and kind of listen. Okay. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Um, you don't hear anything from over there. Too many loud bounce on the other side of the room. <laughs> um. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you asked if the, he'd seen any more prisoners. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He says. Uh. He says, I think I remember somebody else being brought through. Okay, you see, we can't just escort you out and leave someone else here to die. I feel we should at least try to actually help that person. <laughs> In that case, I will see myself out. Belka says, follow this path and points to the... Uh the north we came this way turn and right at see. the multiple doors and follow the ice yeah the ice is completely safe <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you like <laughs> like completely confused about what this ice talk is about you know <laughs> and and with well, that we can wait until we're done here wait here until we're done here and then we'll see you safely out yeah with that palcus actually uh creates sure. an ice cube right there <laughs> Um, I'm going to check to see if this door is locked or not. It is not locked. Koira moves over and tells the other three the, at the other hallway, the one with the water. Mm -hmm. It goes up and there's a door there. Um, He says, I'm not going to wait here while you may die. He says, I'll take my chances and leave now. That's the spirit. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> 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 and he kind of staggers to his feet, like pushes himself up off the ground and staggers to his feet and kind of leans against the trails, old buddy. <laughs> leans against the altar for a moment <laughs> and is kind of like looking at you all like, uh, you know, and, Elka said, and then starts staggering like this way. One last thing. You said your bodyguard. Were they killed? He says, I think so. When they took me, when they kidnapped me, he was trying to protect me. What's their name? How was he dressed? <laughs> um, he says, well, he had uh, studded leather armor on and 
you know, regular clothing aside from that. Nice coat. Does that sound vaguely like the guy we found with all the stab wounds? Um, no. It does not. Uh, what race and what's their name? Um, he says, why are you now questioning me? We're on the search for other survivors. Find him. <laughs> he says he did. They did not bring him down here with me. Oh, fine. Well, carry on then. Palkis just kind of sneers a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of like gives you a lot of side eye, <laughs> and, and then kind of like starts like um. Kind of pushing you out of the way, Koira. Well, if you're not going to help me, the least you can do is move out of my way. Well, you could have asked and I would have just gone out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice and old chap. Not soldiers. Not servants. He says, You'll be fine. He kind of looks at your He kind of looks you up and down, each of you. Hmm. <laughs> And yeah, pushes past you, Koira, and wades into the water down the steps. As he looks at everybody, he goes, hmm. Palkus tries to do a little intimidation, goes, Rrr, at him <laughs> as, he's, as he goes by. Oh, if you're going to try and intimidate him, then. A little bit. Please roll for that. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I do Oops. still have oh. Huntress Mark on him. You do? <laughs> he, I mean, he oh, looks yeah, like he has about good. like one hit point left. And so you growl at well, him. That's <laughs> <laughs> you growl at him, Palkus, and he um he just uh, hurriedly like is wading through the water faster, like trying to put I'm some distance until between. Just as he gets to the corner, gets to the corner, just because he's being rude. Oh my god, what's that coming down the hallway? <laughs> he like startled looks around and is just like wading through the water as fast as he can with his <laughs> with his one hit point. That's the one I was pointing at, by the way. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then he's going in the opposite direction. <laughs> if you if you're pointing at this hallway, he he turns like completely one eighty and starts. Ah! <laughs> hey, if you protect going? me, there'll be a reward. <laughs> and oh, it was just a shadow. Never mind. <laughs> and cautiously open the door no. that I'm oh. standing by. And I've been waiting for him or anybody. We couldn't have had a short rest on the plinth. First. Yeah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> There's a comfortable shackle on the wall we could rest on. Come on. Indeed. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ever have I'm a just back peeking through. I'm not like, let's open the door and go through. I'm peeking through, seeing what's uh, on the other side. Meanwhile, Koira is actually grumbling a little bit at Palkas for about the eyes because she's wet now. <laughs> uh, he, he starts using shape water to, to like drain what water is on you off. Okay. <laughs> she stops mumbling. And anybody else, but only while the uh, the noble is out of sight. Yeah, yeah, this guy's like now over in the corner here, kind of like cowering in the corner. Palkus you hear would... him kind of like sobbing a little bit. Palkus would come over here Stick his head around the corner and say, I said leave, go now. <laughs> and he'll kind of say it a little bit loudly. A so little bit. Koira actually leans against the altar and just sits down for just a moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's just, he's kind of, he's almost like fetal position, rocking backwards and forwards, like huddled in the corner, oh. sobbing. Palkus would walk up to him, grab him by the scruff of his neck, and just kind of like start walking him, like pushing him forward, uh, up and out. Flynn, this Flynn, way. you broke him. You broke him, Flynn. You take him out. <laughs> wow, you guys are so hard. Palkus is him past. Boom. What are you doing? Sorry, I can't. Palkus is leading him up past, as he mm -hmm. gets just past the corner, kind of jump a little bit. Boo. He was being rude. He deserves it. <laughs> he um he he lets out a cry and you and he kind of like um 
uh, collapses a bit like dead weight um, pal because you've got him by this well you said you had him by the scruff of the neck you realize he's just wearing a loincloth right yeah i realized that at this so point so you but got he, him like he'd kind of like grab him by like the armpit to lift him up and then just kind of like start pushing him forward like li- like so he's kind of like this and he's kind of like just walking him out towards the so uh, when flynn goes boo his legs just go to jelly that's and... right he's still being he's still being carried okay. so you're just kind I'll of just dragging take him, him over to the right. dais he can wait here until we come back through yeah uh, so what are you doing well, with all him? right so so he'd he'd stop probably because i i can't move him but he'd probably stop at this point because that's where he'd have collapsed and palcus would just kind of like let go at that point and just kind of like look at the rest of the group and go I can't. And he'll start walking away. <laughs> okay, the noble... Just let him wait here until we come back through. The noble guy starts crawling through the water. Like, he's like sobbing and it's shaking. Words. And <laughs> he's like... I will see him out to the <laughs> with physical support as required. Okay. Palka says, I will wait here for you. As Thorn walks by. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> as they're leaving, no more jokes. Call out to the noble. Treat people better, and they'll treat you better. <laughs> Pelkis kind of shoots a look at Flynn. <laughs> and the noble has no response. He's shaking. He's like... <laughs> yeah. I think that ship has sailed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he's a little bit beyond like life lessons at the moment. <laughs> might remember somewhere down the line <laughs> or we might have to pay him a visit for a <laughs> do you remember his name no because i forgot to write it uh, <laughs> i remember his name i remember his name i just watched youtube so how far are you gonna escort him so on I'll take him all the way through the bathhouse to the street and to find a watchman on this decently busy street corner. Wow, okay. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to take him that far, just leave him on the street. Nah. I mean, he's noble. I'll cut his throat in this area. That should give all the rest of us, like, what, eight hour full rest? We're good. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, he should have an hour by the time I'm back. I'll just do the bath. We can use hit dice anyway. (laughs) <laughs> and so uh so there's probably like uh what, 10 minutes or so to get out to the street and yeah. find a watch and uh so you get out there and it's yeah especially because it's pitch dark still um not yet dawn um so uh so he's he's kind of um yeah, I mean, this guy is a mess, right? He's And the watchman, as he sees you approaching with him, like, the watchman's eyes get wide, and then he gets this frown on his face, and he approaches you. What the hell's going on here, then? I'll wave our badge. Oh, okay. And say, oh. uh, he was captured by... Cultists. Dark Trinity cultists. Oh. Slated for sacrifice, and, you know, we sprung him, but... We need to get back in there and finish it up. So uh, if you could just see him home, that'd be lovely. I'm sure he'll wave some money at you. Um, okay. Yeah, the nobles, he's like, he's shivering now because he's soggy. He's like barely alive. He's in shock. Yep, he's kind of visibly like shivering now. And he just looks at like the watchman and it's like just wide-eyed kind of like. Oh, it's like a puppy, really. Yeah, I'm thinking, damn. <laughs> Why did we not puppy? keep him? Because <laughs> <laughs> Palkus would have smashed that puppy. <laughs> All right. So while Thorn is doing this mission, and so the the watchman will kind of take him under his wing, and and even kind of like takes a coat off and puts it round the guy's shoulders, and um. Uh, yeah, kind of like uh, takes him, like is escorting him away from the bathhouse. Yeah, so, cool. good um, luck. 
<laughs> and then I'll come back down again. Okay. So, so while he's gone, I yeah. want to inspect the armor. Like, what type of armor is it you know, still on? Okay. Yeah. Is there anything specific that stands out about it? So it is, um, it is like basically full plate armor, right? And it's kind of actually welded together. Hmm. Question: me, me sitting down, does that actually count as resting? Or so it depends how long you guys are staying there for. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So you can do like um, like Malvola checking out the armor. That's mm -hmm. I mean that's you know as long as you're not doing anything strenuous and you're kind of just taking it easy, then that's like a, a rest. Okay. So um, let's get rid of this I'll guy. I'll happily sit down still. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely take time for a short rest, even if Thorn doesn't get a short rest. Short rest for me. We all need a hit rest. <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure how the hit dice works with short rest. Yep. So you can choose to spend um, your. You've got you know two hit die now, so you can choose to spend um, up to two of them uh, on <laughs> on you know uh, regaining some hit points. So uh, yeah. I think if you just click on hit die in your um, mm -hmm. character sheet, yeah. it should roll them. And you can use and them one at a time. Them. But yeah, make sure that you also remove them as you do it, and then you regain them at a long rest. Hit die, where is that? It's right almost there. dead center in the main page. Yeah. Straight across from it. Oh, there we go. That'll work. <laughs> so, <laughs> and a terrible what... rest. And I'm going to use part of the time to spend a half hour meditating to regain my whole two key points. Yeah, I'm... Okay. If we're taking a short rest, I might as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally, completely. It's insane not to. So, was this only for health points or also for the spell points and stuff? Or... Uh, it takes a long rest to get your spells back. Okay. You. That's good. I'll just uh, use it on my health points. As you get beefier, you might get an ability that gives you some spells back for a short rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. But... Yeah, sorry that I blanked off for a moment. I just saw some re news. From someone. No, no worries. Um, okay. So everybody takes a uh, rest. Thorn arrives back. Um, you do kind of as you're as you're sitting quite quietly. Actually, everybody make a per. Well, sorry, Thorn. Everybody except mm -hmm. Thorn. Who <laughs> could you make a perception check for me, please? And I'll tell you. If you... Um, sure. Let me find where that is. I'm too deep in my meditation. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm trying to find it. It's about the same level as your charisma for the next block over. Just under nature, just above performance. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, so, Palkus and Koira, you can hear um, uh, a uh, feminine voice coming from this direction. Uh, Palkus would quickly motion for everybody to uh, take cover in this direction and get away from the door. Someone, someone's coming. Um, so you hear the voice briefly and then it actually stops again. Do I need to move? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then um, yeah, the rest of the twenty minutes. Oh, actually, um, hang on one second. Let me look at one other thing really quick. Do, 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 do. Oh, by the way, all my ice cubes have expired. They only last an hour. Yeah, yeah. I, was I will just... start removing them. So the rest of it's actually an hour. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, so the rest of the hour does pass without any interruption. So what would you guys like to do after your hour's rest? Take seven more. <laughs> <laughs> 
that might be interrupted. No. And this one would have expired as well. Um, do we proceed to the east or the south? Uh, I heard a voice to the south. Yeah. yeah. Is the door locked? I still have those keys. I mean, might as well if the door is locked. Yeah, there, it's useful. There were seven uh, keys on that ring, by the way. Oh, nice. So yeah. I'm going to keep those keys for a while. Do I have to add yeah. those to my... Um, it's item up, list. It's up to you. I would if if I were you. Um, just because I'm uh, terrible at remembering. Yeah, since stuff. since I'm gonna keep them and I'm the same, I'm terrible at remembering. <laughs> I mean, I forgot that I could turn into a creature. <laughs> <laughs> no results found. Yeah. Oh yeah, you might have to just write that in. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to my bio and edit that somewhere. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Cult trio. Triad keyring. <laughs> keyring with seven key. Yeah. One used for shackles. <laughs> I think we're taking a short break. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got cut out again. Oh, I said I think we're taking a short break. We'll, we'll be uh -oh. back after these commercials. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh oh, sorry, that was that was me. Sorry. Okay. I accidentally double clicked. I know it, it's it's kind of not what you want to do as a streamer, but yeah, if other, if half of us are going to the take yeah. a break, then we might want to actually do that. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. Uh, so okay, then I will also be right back. Okay. So Koira. <laughs> yes. We're going east or south <laughs> towards the voice Wait, or me... to the east. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'd ask Flynn if he saw anything through. Yeah, the... I think that would be the best asking Flynn as he was checking the door. So maybe he has seen anything. And else we can go for the path with the voices. It's dry. <laughs> <laughs> Would Flynn, do you think? Oh, there he is. He has arrived. <laughs> Welcome. We were just discussing. Oh, wait for the, the earphones to go on. <laughs> <laughs> Flynn, what did you see? What did your halfling eyes see when you went what? when you peeked through the door? What did you see? Uh, part of a hallway. Kind of dark. Okay. I have one question: the hallway is it dry or wet? Looks wet. Probably wet. I'm voting for the voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So this bit is where you go down the stairs. That's water. Um, and then up the stairs as this bit's dry. Sorry, yeah. I'm I'm up for it. Not walking out front, but I'm up for it. <laughs> I don't mind going in front. I mean, if I suggest to go there, uh, I'm willing to open the door. <laughs> as long as we can have ice cubes. <laughs> so oh, I can suck it up and ice cubes. If you want, you can pass me the keys and I'll unlock it and pass them back to you. Sure. That's safer for you. Sure. <laughs> hey, where did you go? Doug, if you before you left. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so um, so you're opening this door. Okay. I will open the door. I will attempt to do so at least slightly cautiously, but I am going to open. Okay. So you see, there's kind of a hallway going this way, and one going that way. Hmm. Mm. Oh, 
Okay. Take a moment to have a listen. Um, give me a perception check, please. Sorry. Go listen to. Since I can't see. Okay. I think you can hear. Ooh, uh, nice. Yeah, Flynn, you can definitely hear. Um, do, 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 noise from this direction. Thorn, you can probably hear it as well. Just it's like just a little bit of um, shuffling around, kind of movement. You know? uh, if no one else is going to take it, I will take the shield and equip it. Okay. Sure. I Shields feel... ruin my armor class bonus, so I'll use them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the ice cubes are back. <laughs> yep. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> he knows Koira doesn't like wading through nasty water. <laughs> so. All right. I'm going to tap. Since Goat, or since uh, Thorn's just ahead of me, I'm going to tap on the back of his arm. Mm -hmm. Just to let him know that, hey, it's me. And telepathically, do you hear the sounds coming from the right? That way we don't give away the fact that, that we're... Is that our right or the map's right? Our right, I suppose. Our right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll nod. And make a little, come on then, let's go screw them up. No. Okay. I'm just happy with the eyes. Respond again telepathically. Let's keep it quiet, see if we can surprise them this time. Cool. Meanwhile, uh, you hear Palkus behind. Malvola, are you coming? <laughs> <laughs> Since Palkus is within 30 feet, he'll get a telepathic message as well. Shh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of what you see in okay. space here. Really uh, quick, how do you do, do those arrows? Uh, that is the little uh, on the little sidebar on the top left of roll twenty. Yeah. You hover over the one below the little magnifying glass. Yeah. Click that, and then you can draw arrows. If you want to draw something that doesn't snap to the center, you hold Alt. For me, it's just a regular line. Oh, polygon line probably. Mm hmm. That does right. absolutely nothing in world. It just okay. tells you distances just... and stuff. Okay, well, it's not an error for me. <laughs> Clearly. Just for curiosity, for those of us, the, well, the one of us who can't see in the dark, is this room ahead lit? Uh, I don't think it is. Um, so, let okay. me... Uh... <laughs> in that case, since the party's starting to get used to the whole I'm talking in their head, Ask Thorn, mm. what do you see? Uh, what actually do I see? But yeah. like a necrot and a cultist and an undead spider or a pile of bones or let me, some kind of uh, vulture thing? Let me describe it to you. Oh, um, so this partially collapsed room has some wooden beams, again, bracing its ceiling. Situated between the beams is a scorched wooden table with a human cadaver sitting on top. That's what this is here. Right. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Um, a frighteningly thin woman in a black robe is studying the corpse. Her face is largely hidden under a cowl, and around her feet creeps a swarm of skeletal rats. Cute. Right. So cute. <laughs> so, cute. so that's the woman? This is Someone the woman. prepare the fresh twisties. Yep. <laughs> this is the woman. Okay. Right. Nice. Well. So if that's the woman, this is a dead people? That's a dead person, yeah. As hey, far as we me... know. <laughs> Here, I will do this. There we go. Does that help? Okay. That does help. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Dead uh, person. Okay. Scoop. I'm woman in black robes going to hold two fingers up to Flynn to indicate the two things and then 
kind of rat, which is really, that's a swarm of rat skeletons, who the hell knows how many that is. Um, and then I'm going to take a pot shot at her. Oh, hang on, before we, sorry, we got all discombobulated there for a sec. If you're trying to sneak, could you give me a stealth roll, please? Uh, I'm stealth. not trying to sneak, I'm just standing there and shooting. Okay. I uh, wasn't sneaking. I'm being I sneaky. When I came on the corner, I wasn't sneaking. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, so she, um, hearing you kind of come around the corner, she is going to act, um, probably at the same time that, that you are. So um, so we'll get this kind of reaction um, mm -hmm. round between Thorn and um, this woman, and uh, then we'll go into turn order. I know this is terrible strategy. I'm sorry. This is perfect strategy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, we have well, this is our normal strategy so far. <laughs> I mean, we have one? I should start running in blood. What's when we do? <laughs> we have none. Uh, so she um, she mutters something, um, mm. and uh, the oh, I hate it when that's happened. Um, the rats suddenly kind of like they were just kind of dancing around her feet or sneaking around her feet a little bit um and instead they all kind of form up oh. skeletal rat formation and um start heading uh your way rat voltron so, incoming so <laughs> is it bad that i was literally thinking voltron <laughs> It's like a little cheerleader's pyramid of skeletal rats. <laughs> like... But your rodents combine. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Ratron? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Thorn, what were you going to do? Sorry. You... I'm going to shoot her. Okay. All right. So, skeletal rats are running up while you're shooting her. Uh, shoot take... Go ahead. Uh, take your shot. That's a good shot. That hits. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, she uh, continues what she was doing. Actually. <laughs> oh. Um, <but> let's <laughs> um, let's do turn order. She kind of gets stabbed with this thing and then continues. Oop. <laughs> Boop. I don't oh my gosh, Skeletor right. keeps rolling such good initiative. I've only got a plus four. <laughs> Just take it, I man. I have those attack rolls. <laughs> Malvolu. You want in on this? No, oh. Mel Melvola is not. not no, just, just having a rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the long rest. You guys have the battle. <laughs> no, like, no, you guys got this. Eight. There's the roll an 18 for initiative, but <laughs> didn't have the friggin' token selected. Well, if you roll, I'll adjust it because there we go. There you go. Um, there we go. All right. Ending. Okay, so Thorn, you um, yeah, you want to take your action? She sent the uh, rats your way. Yeah, um, I'm going to try and overrun as a bonus action, which is an athletics check versus the rats, and if I can, I'll move through them to there. Oh, hang on. Mm. Oh, where could you show me where you're gonna go? There. Just oh, okay. The just the other up. side. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Not bad. Mhm. Mm yep. That's good. Okay. And then I'm gonna shoot at her again. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, rats. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have much time for these construct things, you know. 
<laughs> that sucks. Nope, not so much. Rat distraction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rectacular. Distract. Um. <laughs> hmm. Uh, she is going to. Hmm. She's going to continue what she's doing. Malvola. Uh, I. This is as far as I can move. Can I see the rats from here? Yes. Okay. Well. Old reliable. And no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. That's the oh. fourth one. All, the only hope I have out of this is that that might mean I get a nat 20 because of that. Because <laughs> I seem to be absorbing all luck that you have at rolling attack dice. Okay. Uh, yeah, the more we could look at it as, as the more roll ones we roll, the less chance there is that Valen will roll a 1 on a wild magic check. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? So we're doing a community service by using up all the ones? <laughs> Or we take the express route to the abyss. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's Bator. Never mind. Just know that right, the uh... next spell that I cast of any level does cause a surge, no matter what. Wait, I'm sorry, what did you just say? Because that just block I, him out. <laughs> I, I realized that um, I had used my ability for rolling advantage already. So therefore, any more spells I cast will cause a surge. All right, let me get the table. Uh, not well, not cantrips. Fun, like, it has flim. to be a spell, and I can only cast one more, and that's with sacrificing my spell points. So, Flynn, it's been nice playing. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we either kill everything before. Alcas comes here. Oh my gosh. We are dead. <laughs> <laughs> he is just I'll a walking chaotic half orc. <laughs> Alright. Well, Koira, it's your turn. What are you going to do? There you yep. go. Koira. As I'm you cast attack. Entangle on Palkus. You can move through I'll friendly squares over. without a problem. Yeah. So I walk over here as he rats in. I'll give the rats a whack. Okay. <laughs> or I'll try to. Whack a rat. That Ooh, hits, <laughs> that hits the mean, rats. <laughs> okay. How do I do with the damage again? Click on the it? word scimitar Most in thing? the chat. Scimitar in the chat. Okay. okay. I mean, also oh. chat wanted to see a uh, pat hat lady versus the rats, so I'm giving <laughs> it to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so the, the, it turns out like you can make contact with them, but they're really shifty to do damage to. Um, so it's like there's a lot of tiny boned creatures running around, um, you know, kind of around your feet now. And um, so you, you were able to slash at some of them, but didn't do as much damage as you were expecting to. Okay, Flynn. Okay, I imagine I'm going to need an acrobatics check for what I'm... Or need to make an acrobatics check for what I'm planning on doing. I'm oh. planning on... <laughs> Koira, Thorn, I apologize ahead of time. Okay, it's all good. I'll fill I'm going to kind of, I can move through their space, but I'm going to kind of go up and over. Okay. Cool. Need a little help? I can push you. <laughs> okay. Um... My goal is to move to there. That's right, you're a monk, you have But I'm not sure about that check, whether it would be sufficient to kind of go up and over. So it'd be sufficient to go up and over, but the rats are going to bite, try and bite you as you move through their area. Okay. okay. Um, so they... I'll probably just catch some disease and die. <laughs> I regret that I don't have a spell. I could have taped these rats. I mean, they're animals, right? So they do... <laughs> they're undead. They're skeletons. Ach. Do they hit? <laughs> they do hit. Um, and they do six points of piercing damage to Ooh. you. You get nibbled on. 
That's pretty He's significant nibble. When you get a moment there, Kashka, would you mind on showing us a little bit? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, with that done, now I'll focus on her. Okay. What are you going to do? Spear. Um, okay, that kind of was crap. Yep, that did not, um, did not all, work. There's all the nibbles. Luckily, bonus action needs to be unarmed anyway, so we're going to go back to default. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Oh. I'm fanning her, making sure she's cooled down. <laughs> <laughs> Considered a distraction. She says, I prefer a palm leaf if you're going to fan. <laughs> really quick question. Can you please remind me that I have that inspiration? I keep forgetting about <laughs> <laughs> Yep, we'll do. I just looked at my character sheet and I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, Palkus. Uh, so, oh, no. Palkus is going to move act and move okay going to move to here okay uh cast a cantrip chill touch uh at the rats okay uh does 15 hit 15 does hit too necrotic but it does something special against undead and yeah, necrotic heals them, doesn't it? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you'd think that. Um, <laughs> Suddenly, the giant rat. <laughs> it says uh, it can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. Until then, the hand clings to the target. If you hit an undead target, it also has disadvantage on attack rolls against me until the end of my next turn. Okay. Cool. For what good that might do. Um, and I can't move far enough forward to get through there. So Palkus just moves a little bit more out of the way, around the corner. That's the last and of his movement. Now you can also see around the corner a bit more, right? That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> so you find out there's more rats. A tidal wave of skeletal rats <laughs> <laughs> just barreling down the hole to you. Um, oh, you see like this. Okay. A bit like that as well. There you go. Okay. Too many doors in this place. Yeah, <laughs> this is the door, right? That's the door. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> I have keys. <laughs> <laughs> like I disengage from the rats. I unlock all the doors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Oh, oh the ads. <laughs> Next is the rats. Okay, wait, hang on one second. I'm just yeah, reading one thing. The rats. I don't think they're happy that okay. I got it. Fault him. <laughs> Rats. Yep, they're not too happy. Um, so they are going to. Yeah, you hit them, shy. I'm sorry. So they're going to retort. Oh yeah, yeah totally. I would do the same. <laughs> friendly yeah. love nipples. Um. So they. <laughs> yeah, they roll a twenty to bite you. Yeah, that definitely hits. They get a little bit carried away with their love nibbles. And they do, <laughs> and they do 12 piercing damage. Oh, to you. What's up with this creature? Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it was a, it's a crit. It was a crit, yeah. Well, I, so actually, the 20 wasn't a crit. No, they they do have a bonus, but um, but I did oh, roll okay. max damage on that. How are some of you seeing this 20? I, I, I said, no, 20. said 20. Oh, said okay. I was like. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want to do you want to see my rolls? No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine for me. <laughs> so I take it that wasn't enough to take you out, Koira. No, but almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Same thing. Okay, you shoot here. Shoot. I'm shooting the cultist. Yes, you are. Excellent. Okay. Alright. Um, so she uh 
she turns and uh, her, her concentration kind of broken and she's going to cast at you instead. <laughs> oh man, okay. Choices, choices. She's like fireball. <laughs> you know, you are all nice and kind of bunched up. There. Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> or like any bolt. I'm not over there, so I don't care. She wouldn't dare hurt her pet rats, okay? Yeah, okay. She can just put them back together. Shut up. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> and just... add those over there to the uh, ranks. All right, she's going to cast. Which side do you guys have? Oh, let me actually do this. Uh, one second, I want to change the setting. Uh-oh. I mean, you distracted her from reanimating the dead person. It's hard. So one less zombie thing to worry about. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Um, so she casts um, Scorching Ray. So you, you create three rays of fire. Um, except the rays that she creates actually aren't fiery. Um, they're this kind of, they're well, maybe they're fiery, but they're this, instead of the flames being like, you know, your normal kind of yellow and orange and red mm -hmm. colors, they're these like sickly kind of purple and green. Um, green flame. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so hurl them at targets within range. Um, so uh, she's going to hmm, hurl them. She's going to hurl one at uh, Flynn and two at Thorn. Um, here's a question Jeez. now. Okay. Well, she gets three, right? Oh. So it'd be an individual attack roll for each one. Mm, that's a fair point. Yep. Okay. So, let's make another uh, attack roll for. <laughs> um. Then let's decide who got the first roll. So odds. Um. It was Flynn getting the I, first roll. It was probably me. I've been fighting out of attack. That's true, but I mean. Well, hang on. All right, um, then the damage is 2d6, so... 12. This is an actual 20. This doesn't look good for one of us. <laughs> I mean, who did that hit? Not it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, well, Thorn. Yeah, if it's 2d12, did you say? Um, no, it's 2d6, so... Right, right, so 12 plus whatever bonuses she gets. Well, this, this right. roll is 2d6 plus 2d6... What? Yeah, yeah it, it's 2d6 per target. Oh! Yeah. yeah. And one of them crit, and that crit gets doubled. Oh, that's actually gets doubled, doesn't it? So it's 11... Or she just gets to re-roll the dice, which she did, and yeah, so there you go. Got well, it was, two, it was two rays. Yeah, but I thought one of them missed. So yes. there's three rays. There's three rays. One of them did miss. Sorry, I only so see the two shots. 11 double to 22 form. Yes. I slammed my conscious. Mm-hmm. Not good. Yeah, it's all part of it. Uh, we should have mm -hmm. uh, accompanied that noble to a rest. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of hisses at you, Flynn. And you see her teeth are kind of like... Um, yeah, I mean, she's she's she looks like she hasn't washed in a very long time. <laughs> she has teeth of like <clears throat> perhaps somebody uses a little too much recreational you know uh, substances and uh yeah she's kind of very uh, disheveled so all right Marvel. so she it, smells like death as well. he, he went down right yes. yeah yeah i went down okay 
So for those that are unfamiliar with what just happened, basically, um, if you don't mind, Kashka. No, go for it. Uh, basically, Thorn has taken uh, enough damage to be downed. It, there is a possibility if he were to take a tremendous amount of damage, he could have been like killed outright, but that's very, very unlikely. Anyway, because he's downed over the next several rounds, he needs to start making death saving rolls, uh, which is just a roll on a 1d20. 10 or better means he succeeds. If you get a uh, nine or less, means he fails. And three of any of those means he either succeeds, meaning he stabilizes and regains one hit point and just stays there unconscious, uh, stops bleeding out, or if he fails, he dies. So. And by dies, that's die, die. Yep. Dead, no dead. coming back without a res resurrection spell. Yes. Well, on level two. Um, and uh, okay. there are ways of stopping that. One is like a medical kit, or somebody succeeds at a medical uh, check on the person, or casts any kind of healing uh, of one point or greater on the person. There may but be on some. On the other hand, if I get attacked, it's an automatic hit. Yep. And, and... two failed death saves. Yep. 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 <laughs> it needs to finish someone off when they're bleeding out. Yes. Yep. <laughs> you sure look tasty to those rats right now. As yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attempt to solve the rat problem. Okay. <laughs> Please do. Finally. <laughs> oh, yeah. That hit some. That's a good number. Six very right. forceful damage. Um, of course, I rolled a two on the d10. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so they take uh, shy. Some of the rats in front of you get kind of blown up a bit. Good. Um, <laughs> by this blast <laughs> that comes over your shoulder, and uh, yeah, um, there, there's still a fair number of them scurrying around. Though. A new way to turn bones into bone meal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Koira. Koira takes a smart decision to consider death not an option, so she walks back. By doing that, she tells uh, both Palkas and Morfola, these rats are absolutely crazy. I need a small break. And she just goes... <laughs> To the stairs. <laughs> okay. So this is where you want to say, I'm going to use my action to disengage. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right. So you disengage and yes, <laughs> and you can retreat a little. You right. can still use bonus actions if you have anything that is a bonus action. Yeah. I've nothing to use it on. Or you could, instead of disengaging, turn into a creature and gain temporary hit points. I keep forgetting that the featured X. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Let me look at the creatures I can be. I actually had the site open earlier. <laughs> Question what do the numbers on the site mean? I'll make a screenshot where you don't all have to go there. Too. You could turn into a rat. <laughs> yes, so I was actually looking at that. <laughs> I feel um, maybe they see me as the overlord and help. <laughs> Probably not. Probably more of a meal. Yeah. No. <laughs> but yeah, what do those um, yeah, numbers but, in brackets mean? So that's their challenge rating. So um, see how it says max, max CR one quarter and then yes. everything What's there. The CR? CR is challenge rating as well, mm -hmm. so you can t basically you can turn into any of those things. You could turn into a swarm of rats. You could turn in, well, so well, 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 really turn into a giant them. goat, giant <laughs> rat. Just sit on them. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> know. Don't be I awesome. am your so, master. Um, so, welcome. Well, oh yeah, hang on. The circle of the moon, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what you, so, yeah, you should have. I think that allows up to CR1 straight away, mm -hmm. or is that next level? Yeah, so then I think it's like you could turn into a bear. 
Yeah. Really so you can go much. That's a good point. You can turn some very nasty things. I mean, what? just the things Friendly. that I see on the level 2 thing is already pretty nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's also a circle of the moon. So then that one. You guys mean this section? I didn't even see that it existed. I scrolled down and apparently scrolling is wonders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I can't see yes. those caskets. Yes, exactly. Yep, exactly. Yep, mm exactly. -hmm. Yeah. I mean, what would be the most effective against rats? Giant spider is often picked as, like, the horror that more into. But I'm not sure against rats. Born Just don't rats, turn into a is. giant cheese. No! <laughs> <laughs> giant cheese monster? Right. <laughs> well, circle of the moon, I mean... <laughs> I would say go for something that can smash instead of slash or stab. Yeah. And how if do I you know have... what which can do? Is it way? Uh, just common guessing. I mean, if you're okay. going for like, let's say, uh, a wolf would probably bite using mm. teeth, which are sharp and therefore piercing. That if you're going for something like, like a, an ape or something, it would probably use its fist to smash things or yeah, grab. Yeah. Okay. You know, so just just, just using guessing. common sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like. Bears have got a mix, right? Because they've got. Yeah, I was actually looking at the bear. Like, it can either slash or, like, put it off. Like yeah. crush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. I'll go for the bear. So while I retreat, I'm doing that. Is a. I think it takes an action for you to change form, so you'd be able to do one or the other. Unless you want to retreat and get well, the rats Well, I mean, in retreat action. as in walk back. Not oh. as in leaf, leaf. Yeah, but you use your action to disengage. Well, yeah, if you just walk back, the rats can, can try to attack you again. They'll take like they'll take advantage of your distraction while you're thinking about changing to. To no, I'm confused. So basically, <laughs> okay. to to safely retreat from uh, being attacked, mm -hmm. it takes up the same action as it would for you to turn into the bear. Okay, so I'll it's, take uh, the safe option then. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I can follow what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a problem. Okay. All right. So I forgot where we were. Flint. Oh, Flint. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna let the spear drop and go with the old standby. Okay. Which means you try and hit with the, that which, which the old standby is you try and hit with the second attack. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? I I've, I've had enough of this chick. Her breath is killing me. <laughs> so we're gonna use up one of my two key points and flurry your blows. That hit nice. I forgot you regain key points on a short rest. Oh, that's good. What's your key oh, point? It won. <laughs> sort of like his uh, magic spells. Yeah, it's what monks get. Ah. Uh, he can use. He can spend these points to grant him extra attacks or other special abilities. All right, Palkus. That's cool. And that's it for me. All right, Palkus is uh, gonna okay. try and attack the rats. Um, because Thorn is down and he. He doesn't like that, um, but uh, so what he's going to do is try and get their attention, I guess. He's going to walk up here and cast Chill Touch at point blank range on them uh, again, which let's see if I can actually cast that Chill Touch. 15. 15 does hit. And that's 7 necrotic damage. And they have disadvantage to attack me until my next turn. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And he uses whatever bonus action he can to try and get their attention, basically. Okay. Um, you succeed. 
and <laughs> they attack you back. Yeah. Saws. I know. Well, at least it's disadvantage. <laughs> and it's not a nat 20. <laughs> yep. I'll take five points of piercing damage. All right. All right. Uh, Thorn, can you make your first first roll, please? I can try. Okay. Ugh, first failed save. Yep. All right. She, um... Let's see what she she's gonna hiss at you again, uh, Flynn, and um, she is going to cast again. And then I think she's gonna do this. <laughs> I don't think the rats can regain hit points, but they can't until the start of my next turn as well. Okay, so she does. Oh my god. So you need to make make a dex saving through. Oh come on. This is your specialty, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So is it half damage or no damage? Um I think it, it is half. half. Damage, it? Yep. It is half. Okay. And that's her. For now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Mabel. Do that stuff. <laughs> I am, again, trying to get solve the rat problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's going to do it or not. That hits. Okay, then. <laughs> they are a swarm, after all, so... And that oh, that's true, because aren't you targeting the, the square at that point? Something along those lines. Yeah, and that finishes them. So the rest of them kind of... Sweet. Nice. Uh, clatter to splinters. Well, clatter's a terrible word. They just <laughs> kind of get blasted to splinters. Bone, bone splinters go flying. Um, and they are done. Uh, Koira. I'll turn into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. How many health points did they... Da. How many health points does that actually oh. give? So... Where do I see this kind of info? Let me have a look. Oh, is it a black bear? Because I think you have a choice of a black bear or a brown bear. Um, do you have any preference? Um... I think um, I forget. One of them is slightly be better. I, the brown bear is is much better. I think it's like a grizzly. And is black. there any way to see those kind of infos? Yes. Any that that little way. I for information on the top of the roll twenty chat. Yeah. And you type in bear, and you can okay. click on them, and you get a little pop up that tells you about each one. Yep. If you want to see what they can do, scroll, it, it should say at the top, like, multi-attack, bite, claws, things like that. Okay. Yeah, brown bear is a challenge rating 1, black bear is a challenge rating 1 half. Do a polar bear just because it's gonna be totally weird. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the ice cubes, you know. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> it's all thematic and stuff. <laughs> Turn things into a very chill campaign. Um, oh boy. I actually think I'll go for brown bear. Nice. You gain you have thirty four temporary hit points. Ooh, Sorry, um, what you got? This card is messing up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, 34 hit points. Okay, so I add that to my current hit points, right? It's a separate pool. Yep, so you just have you, you have 34 right now. Um, if you lose all those 34, then you'll go back to 
to coins. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I, I'm just gonna write it down in my bio again. Yeah, yeah, no worries. As I tend to forget 24. If you want, X. directly below your hit points, there's actually a yeah. temporary hit points field. Oh, there is? Oh, yeah. yeah. And as Thank a bear, you. as a bear, you can move eight tiles. Okay, but it takes a turn to transform into the bear, right? Yeah. Yep. So right now I can't do much, basically. You can still move around. You can still move. Ah, uh, and I'm fine where I am. It means the bear takes. Uh, the rats also need to move longer if they want to get to me. Rats are dead. The rats are dead. Yeah. <laughs> Although and perhaps I Cora... completely missed that. <laughs> the, rat, the rats are re dead. No, I don't know. Like, but then again, Cora I don't know from where I'm standing. Yeah, Dear I don't. So think I assume those evil, <laughs> vicious creatures are still alive. Okay. That does remind me, I still have my move action. Oh yes, you do. Yeah. Okay. All right, very good. All right, so Koira, stay in post. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Flynn, what are you doing? I already, uh, are we back to me again? <laughs> we are. <laughs> yep. We've got one less person well, to worry about it. It's that, doing too much, sadly. That round went quick. Excuse me. That should answer the question. Hey, that's not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I, I think that'll hit. <laughs> okay. So she takes. And you know what? Just because I foresee the possibility of a, another rest of some kind after this fight is over, I'm going to be it. I'm going to use my last key point for another flurry of blows if she's still standing. She is still standing. She, and she looks like she's, hang on, let me check. I think she looks medium. Um, no, she's, she's up. She's in the well territory now. Those are my two attacks from Flurry of Blows. Those both right. hit. Nice. Okay, so. That ends my turn. Now she's looking pretty well. Now I will you? Palkus. Um. Palkus is not usually known for um, helping people medically, um, so sadly, uh, he, what was that? He, he he he's not very well known for helping people medically. So, uh, in this case, he he feels that there's still a threat to Thorn from this lady who's casting spells all over the place. Yeah, um, absolutely. So he will charge up, uh, saying, "Boom," and try hitting her. With them all. And that hits. Okay. And you finish her. Smack. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You just, uh, she was paying attention to Flynn, didn't even see you coming, and you just swing them all at the back of her head and take mm. her, uh, take her down. I'll say, ow. <laughs> and stagger over to where Thorn is. I've got a little bit of wisdom, uh, a little bit of medicine skill. Not like proficiency, but I have a question: How long do I stay a bear now, and it's when can I use it again? I think it lasts for a few hours or something. Yeah, you can. But you can dismiss. You okay. can change back when you want to. Uh, you can't yeah. do it again until you've had a sleep, I think. Okay. I think it's it's, it's twice. Okay. Yeah. Thorn, if this good. does you more harm than good, I'm sorry. Let <laughs> <laughs> me bring it on. Hey. Oh, no, is saying in chat that it resets on a short. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Um. Okay, so the 17. What are you using to? I mean, I I get that you're like doing a medicine check, but so. I'm so, using like bits of his clothing, bit, bits of my shirt if necessary, some whatever cloth I can get my hands on to try to staunch the any blood flow and bandage it. Her. Oh, what was that? No. I'm saying rat fur. Rat fur. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. Pal Palkus would, would probably at that point say, I have a healer's kit. And and would pull it out of uh, take his pack off okay. and quickly pull that out and give it okay. to him to help. All right. Okay. 
Um, so between Palkus's healer's kit and uh, Flynn's medicine uh, check, yeah, you're able to stabilize Thorn. I'm going to take one of the uses off the healer's kit. And with that done, I'm going to slump sitting, leaning against that wall right there. Okay. Because that <laughs> hurt. <laughs> Palkus would put the, the healer's kit away and uh, try dragging... <laughs> Thorn back a little bit so that he's not directly in view out there. And let me move him as well. Bye. Yeah. Gently, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just fling him around like a potato sack. <laughs> Why not? Right? Drag you out of the way. Here, put that anywhere. <laughs> um, I would like to in like check out the the stuff that she this woman was doing. Like trying to figure out what this what exactly is she doing with this corpse petting it okay um yeah so <laughs> you're pretty sure she was trying to reanimate it okay <laughs> um Check to see if the old woman had... It, was it an old woman? Um, she wasn't old. Okay. She was just in scary, scary thin. Check to see if she has any healing supplies on her. Would would be what Palkus would okay. call over while he's searching. Will search her, I right. guess. So you find. Um, she does have a silvered flail, actually. We could use that on Ooh. Thorn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can feel better. <laughs> and, I, and I, I will audibly. Woo. <laughs> um, it is shaped like a skull. The oh. end of it is shaped like a skull. So she has hey. this kind of. You know, there you go. She was, she was living the brand basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and uh, she also has a black book. Um, that is covered. In, it's leather bound and sports a uh, tiny skull-shaped locking mechanism. And with that perception check, um, you find as well um, that she has a key in her hair. She has it like tied into her hair. I will take all of that stuff. Okay. <laughs> Make sure to add it to your uh, character sheet. It'll probably yeah. be some time before we're able to recount it. Kashka, is there any notes that you want him to put next to those? Um, to make it easier for you? Yeah, could you put D13, please? <laughs> Very, yeah. D uh, next to Very which? Um, <laughs> I mean, the, uh, next to the book. Okay. So while well, this is all happening, Vera realizes that the others don't know that she can transform and she only learned that herself recently. So before going back to the other, she transforms back into Koira. Okay. In before she gets attacked. <laughs> In a moment of panic, you turned into a bear. What the heck? <laughs> like, what? I can't do this? And nobody saw it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, no, wait, you were in front somewhere. No, I was behind the corner. Like, yeah. behind the bent ish, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You moved out of the way and then you yeah. transformed. Yep. Yeah. So nobody saw because everybody just charged in. Yep. I saw nothing. <laughs> then Quera just walks back in, see the people are resting, and agrees. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Palkus would say, you know, Thorn is badly injured, but he's stopped. We need a longer rest than what we have time for, I think. And he looks at the, the pathway in front and around. What does the room seem to resemble, Kashka? Uh, like the floor and the ceiling and walls? I and mean, it's, like it's stone. It's worked stone, okay. right? Um but it is kind of partially collapsed at this end. Okay. So um, there's like a whole bunch of dirt and junk all over the ground? Yep. Yeah, like this is like 
rocks and broken stonework and yeah. Palka says general debris. I have an idea. Yes. And What's he's, that idea? He stands up and he starts like uh, uh he and he he holds the mall up in a, a way where the head is down, the handle goes up. Um hold on a second, let me look at the spells. And yeah, it's just semantic. He doesn't say anything. He he just starts like uh like kind of aiming this and a large area of the earth over here starts moving. Like he starts dragging uh, a large amount of dirt and stuff. He says, "I can make it look like this hallway has collapsed." As he starts dragging it across the room, granting us a measure of protection perhaps for a bit. Good idea. Did he say spell? It is a yeah. cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be level one or I mean, higher, right? Already did, almost did, so I'm, I'm kind of paranoid about it. Mm -hmm. Before you do anything, yes. are there any doors that we could maybe lock since, you know, in these keys, maybe we can also lock people out? There's further hallways down here, and he points down the hallway. Um, he says, I do not know where they go. Or we could just take a long rest here and keep a watch. Well, maybe Trade off the watch, that way everybody gets a chance to rest. Making the corridor look like it's locked is a good idea. I agree. I agree. Whatever, I just want to rest. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> So he'll start like slowly dragging dirt across the floor and just piling it up in this hallway so that it, you know, until it, it reaches the top and it, it looks like it's kind of like caved in a bit into the hallway a bit. Okay. Okay. It gets very dark. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> and I strike up my lantern. <laughs> <laughs> We need to find some black vision goggles or something. <laughs> well, if I die, then I'm just going to play a character that has dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll be honest, I'm actually surprised I'm still alive. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, surprised all yeah, of us. Yeah, me too. Uh. Same with the hits I've gotten today. Should be dead. <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't made that deck save against the burning hands, I'd probably be dead. Yeah, yeah. she'd probably be downed at least. That's for certain. Yeah. Um, so, um, how long shall we rest? Long. I hate yeah. to say it, but I agree. I don't even feel that we'd be safe leaving this place to rest. No. It would be okay if no one had followed back in our path, but if anyone else is regrouped back there, we'd be in trouble. I agree. But this is a fine tune. <laughs> Flynn well, starts chuckling a little bit. Pugs kind of looks around and Good says... Thing we didn't have the noble wait for us. Just kind of shakes his head. <laughs> 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 he just kind of sneers with the mention of the noble again <laughs> and uh, he, he, so he says shall we set up watches in case they start digging it out that's a good idea sounds like a plan Maybe if they dig it out and they see dead rats, they may just think it's collapsed. <laughs> I mean, the dead rats are under the piles, so... I only need half as long as the rest of you. One of the benefits of being the older race. I think this you should rest watch. first, though. I'll, I'll take watch. I'm I, I not can really take the second concerned. half. For certain. Okay. So, well, I mean, even 
being on watch is still you're still resting so it's not like it's going to, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. extend the period any mm -hmm. oh, fair uh, just so, tell me if we, I need to keep a watch or... how many watches two that would probably be a good idea All right. I would also request that people uh Go to the back of the room. Yeah, <laughs> like this bit, right? Wait, how do like? So you which side is considered the back? Uh, Falkas, move these things farthest from the entrance. Can I? There we go. I can click. I figure the crud that's on the ground back here is part of you know a good amount of what got piled up in the doorway. Yeah, that's so what I'm. So that's seeing. actually probably relatively clean. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Find a loose stone that might remain and use it as a pillow. Go to sleep. Palkus pulls out his cap. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of leans up against the one of the walls and just kind of like dozes off. Um, mm -hmm. And he says, wake me if you need help with the second watch. He looks a little bit gaunt, actually. Yes, like uh, mentally uh, taxed, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Koira just is pale from all the attacks she got today, and she's just more than happy to rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, does does your wild magic surge go off automatically as part of the long rest process? Or am I misremembering? Uh, no. Basically, what happens uh, on a long rest? Uh, is it's it everything resets for me so what happens right. is if I use my advantage ability where I can gain advantage on an attack roll or something um, the next time I cast a spell from there on out until I get that ability back it it will automatically surge okay. uh, otherwise it's a if I roll a level one spell or, or higher I, I I then roll a one in 20 chance of right. doing a surge okay. I, I just learned this. I'm sorry. I'm still learning it. <laughs> no worries. It's all good. Yeah. I'm also still learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. um, so Flynn, are you putting your lantern out? What did you say? I caught like the first part oh, of it and the rest. I said, are you putting your lantern out? Yeah, I'll put it out. For okay. a while, if, since I'm not keeping watch and I'm the only one that needs it, I'll just turn it out. Okay. Um, so yeah, the the light is dimmed, and uh, Malvola, your your companions all kind of fall into somewhat of a restless sleep or meditative meditative state, <laughs> um, and uh, the this kind of um. <laughs> This area grows quite quiet, except for Flynn's gentle snores in the background. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, bug like, yeah, quite bug like. Um, uh, so it grows very still, eerily. So um, the still is kind of like cold humidity in the air, and just general odor of death and sewage, especially in this room. Um, where you also have, you know, a couple of corpses hanging out yeah. with you as well. Mm. So, fairly creepy kind of tomb um, that you're sleeping in. Um, and uh, the, the the stillness kind of falls over you, uh, Malvola, and uh, and it's uh, it's such a it's it's almost welcoming to hear Flynn snoring because it's so like um so solitary uh in the quiet of this tomb so um and that actually is where we will end it um with you beginning the first watch <laughs> upon hearing something digging on the other side <laughs> don't leave your hit points where they are because you may not gain them back after all <laughs> yeah don't change anything about your spells or hit points folks we don't know what's going to happen yet i'm going to wait until next session before i touch any <laughs> <laughs> yep. yeah. hmm. you back from the brink. well um 
I guess that's it for this week, folks. So tune in next time and find out uh, if indeed our efforts to bury ourselves alive prove successful. <laughs> <laughs> DIY tunes. <laughs> that's, that's great fun. Indeed. Oh, thank you for your help as well. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Thank well, you, everyone, basically. It was yeah. fun. Thanks, chat. Yeah. Thanks, players. And thank you, Kashka. Bye. See you all next time. Bye. Bye.